can you show yourself in the window? People say they see you in the window. Wave! Are you waving at me? My hands are full or I'd wave back. I'm on my way to the town of Kimswick, Missouri today. It's a town that was established in 1859 along the Mississippi River. It was a steamboat stop, a railroad stop, many haunted ghost stories in it, including a private residence that witnessed a murder-suicide. Now, I couldn't find any documentation on that. It's legend, I think. But there are three haunted spots here that people report a lot of activity. Prior to it being a town, it was used by Native Americans for salt because of the nearby mineral springs. Man, it's pretty cool. And a lot of these old cabins, they moved here later. They're not originally from this location. But there's a lot of cool shops, old homes, and like I said, there are three haunted locations we want to check out. I am at the town park, and within it is the old town cemetery, which I believe has Kimswick founder Theodore Kim's wife and son buried there. The gate swings open and close. I got the Paris going, and it says pen. It does. It looks like a pen. Does this feel like a pen to you? Theodore Kim is buried in Switzerland, although they have a marker here for him. And that's his son. Died 1853. Across. Across. And that's his wife died 1876. The other claim is that people get knocked down here. They get pushed and they're pushed so hard they're knocked down. EPK. I don't know what that is. Is anybody here? If so, you can talk into this camera or you can use this machine I'm holding. Nightmare. Nightmare. What's the nightmare? Willamine? Is that how you say your name? Or Willamine? Are you upset because you're not buried with Theodore? Is that the nightmare? He was from Switzerland. Are you with him now? Are you together now? Do you push people down here? Do you knock them to the ground? Also, I have my spirit box and I have the Eddie level. Could have swore I heard somebody walking behind me. It's pretty windy, but I mean, this sounded like footsteps. I hope the camera picked that up. It sounded more than just leaves moving. It sounded like there were footsteps. Is someone walking behind me? Is there someone here? Ernest, are you here? You were nine when you died. 
I heard the footsteps again. I'm gonna look over here. Are you Native American? Was your land taken? I wonder why it's about saying. <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't see El Camino Real. Are there any other spirits here? Who's the mean spirit? Who's the spirit that knocks people down? Gladney Ross Park. I'll have to look at it. Ground sort of on level here. Maybe they didn't get pushed. Did did the person who claims they were knocked down? Did they just fall on the unlevel ground? Like the gate? Can you open that gate for me? That would be amazing since it's strip tied. Just don't get me in trouble. In this machine, if you come near me, there's a row of blue lights that'll light up. Can you light up those lights? I'm going to set this down here. Please don't knock it off. <laughs> Although that would be kind of amazing. Now this, it makes white noise. None of this equipment will hurt you. My name is Shannon, by the way. And it's in this gray pouch, so it's only you. Here. Are you unhappy to be buried here? Can you tell me your name? I think I heard you. If you touch this orange machine, it'll light up for you. Yes. Ooh, I got you. Is that you? Light that up one time for yes. Make that blue light go off again. All you have to do is touch it. Can you tell me your name? here with me. Now that's temperature. I'm not going to accept that because I'm outside. Can you talk through this white noise? Oh, you did the EMF again. Two of them. Salad house. Are you a demon? Yes, I went to the Sally house. Are you from the Sally House? Touch that orange machine if it's a yes. And make that line of blue lights light up. Do you know? Oh! Two of 
Um, that's very good. Do you know the spirits at the Sally House? Touch the orange machine again, if that's a yes. Did the spirits like it when I stayed there? Touch the orange machine if it's a yes. That's temperature. <gasps> they did it! Oh my, make three of them. Color. Yes, it's blue. Can you say blue? What's your name? Are you Willowline? Are you Ernest? Are you Theodore? Do you want, are you Theodore? Make three lights light up if you're Theodore. Put all your energy into it. Give me three lights if you're Theodore. Speaking. Speaking. Okay. That's good enough. I know it takes a lot to work this equipment. Are you with your wife and son? What do you think about the town now? How much it's grown? Well, I'm going to go check out the old house now. Do you want to follow me? You do? Okay. Very cool. It's probably a sign on the front here saying what it is. Or what mound? Or Bagula House. And here's the haunted old house. It's supposedly haunted by a spirit named Amos who has a gray beard and wears an animal skin jacket. And also. A little girl, they say, was abandoned here. She cries for her Family. mother. And she sings and dances. And there's a story of a little boy who fell down the stairs to his death. The original cabin part was built in 1777. The upstairs was later added in the 1800s. Watch. Am I being watched? It was built in another city near here called Arnold. Purchased later by Theodore Kim. And then I think it became a farmhouse. And I'm not sure when it came here to Kimswick. But they say you see apparitions in these windows. Are you here, Amos? If so, you can talk in this camera. Oh, that's another thing. I think they have the Delta Queen here. And that's supposed to be haunted by Ma Green, who was one of the first female steamboat pilots. And she died on the Delta Queen when she was 79. They say they hear footsteps. They see her apparition. Doors open and close. But it's closed right now. But well, I'm going to come back when they open it. It's supposed to cruise the Mississippi River. 
Is there a little boy here? Did you fall down the steps? Second story was added in 1831 and it was moved here in 1973. It has a history of last being a restaurant. I'm not sure if it's an operating restaurant right now. But it is where you're supposed to be able to buy your steamboat tickets. But it was a fur trading post, a stagecoach stop, and a tavern where our president, Ulysses S. Grant, visited often when he was a general stationed at Jefferson Barracks. Is there anybody here? You can talk into this camera. So if you're here, do you want to talk to me? If I sat down and turned on my spirit box, could you use that white noise? Can you show yourself in the window? People say they see you in the window. Wave! Are you waving at me? My hands are full or I'd wave back. Are you on the bottom? Or are you on the top? Which window are you waving through? Is there something you want to say to me? Can you wave to me? Do you have a gray beard? Is there anything evil here? Sounds like you're trying to talk to me. I know it takes a lot of energy. Why, thank you. Sack. Sack. Yes. Talk, talk in that white noise, in that machine that's in the sack. It won't hurt you. Can you wave goodbye? Bye guys, thank you for talking to me. Now the last place here in Kimswick that's supposed to be incredibly haunted is this old wrought iron bridge. It was originally built in 1874 and it sat over the River de Pair in St. Louis City. They moved it to Kimswick in 1930. Now they say that when you're on this bridge, you can see orbs, although it's daytime. Three. There are three bridges. Railroad, old historic, and the new. They also say that the spirits who drown in the Mississippi River will talk to you. Evening. In the evening? Should I come back in the evening to see the orbs? It would be really special if you showed your orb here in the daytime. Did you die on this bridge? Possibly an accident?
Did you drown in the Mississippi River? I don't know if you can see that. But this creek leads out to the Mississippi. Now the latest drowning that I know of happened January 2020 this year. And there's a story. Trolley. Trolley. Did the trolley go over this bridge? Down that way is an old estate, the Anheuser House. I think it was built in the late 1800s. I can't see it from here. Oh, I think you can see the roof. This bridge needs to be higher. It sits on the bank of the Mississippi River. It's a museum now. It's it's not open. But I could I tried and I could not find any haunted stories about it. But one of the haunted stories about this bridge is that Milton Milton Whitu, he was five years old, and while living in the town of Kimswick, he accidentally drowned. Are you here, yeah. Milton? Hand. What does hand mean? So peaceful. And what's unique about it is Milton doesn't hold it well. His father, Frank, went to vanish. vanish. His father. Frank, 12 years later. Real. Yes, it's a real story. Died in a boating accident on the Mississippi River. Why do you guys come here? It's nice to know that you're together. Here. Here. Are you here? Can you tell me your name? Is that you, Milton? Is that you, Frank? Are the two of you at peace together? Is it your orbs people see? Did you live in Kimswick? Or did you drown upriver and your body washed down here? Does this bridge make you feel safe? Back. Back? You want me to walk back? I just wanted to get a picture of it from here. Supposed to be one of the few left. It's actually an historic bridge. Do you want to talk to me some more? Do I have to be on the bridge? Do you stay on the bridge? I'll come back. Am I close enough? Can you talk to me? Can you, can you tell me your name? I think that's the thing where if you're in love, you come and you put a lock on a bridge. It started in France. But actually, it's harmful to the bridge. Not one lock, but if you weight it down, with thousands, you got issues. Looks like there's some more. So they recommend you don't do that. A few, I imagine, is okay. Lovers. Yeah, see, here's another one. Were there lovers up here? But the railroad bridge has some stories, too.
Okay. Three. Oh, look at these. That's kind of cool. Well, I thank you for talking to me, everyone here in Kimswick. I really did enjoy this. It's such a cool, historic town. Hmm. Was the bridge breaking? <laughs> what was that squeak? So what a lot of people have done in Kimswick is restored these old buildings. Okay, this is a main road, so I gotta look. And turn them into shops and restaurants and stuff. So I'll drive a little bit. I ah, this place is for sale. That looks awesome. I want it. <laughs> and it's Christmas time. There's even a place where a medium has a shop. I can't remember. It's just got all kinds of crystals and stuff. Lots of unique shopping. And they hold a festival during Halloween. And then they have something called an apple butter festival. Now right here is a place called, I don't know what these are. There's like little cabins back in there. I don't know if you can see that. This place is called the Blue Owl. I've eaten there before. Really good food and famous for their pies. And other little shops. It's really cool. Usually it's pretty busy, but with the COVID thing, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is closed. Yeah. Pretty cool. And it looks like a little bit of it might be. Ooh, I'll make sure. And there's the old house again. Can you wave, Amos? And here's this place I'm not familiar with. An office. It's an office? Then a Barb Barba Gallo house. Okay, that's Kimswick, Missouri.